a cuddly toy monkey hanging on a wall like a jumping jack. With a friendly hello, the puppet starts to react to the visitor's movements and immediately apes every gesture with its arms and legs, its head and body. You can let the ape act smoothly or invite him to a wild dance, but in a subtle way, the monkey asks for another move you have never, ever performed before. Playing the game, you will lose control unconsciously, and after the seductive encounter, you might start wondering, what is all this monkey business about? Who pulls the strings? Despite the monkey's natural habit of aping gestures and its close link to human evolution, the use of a primate furthermore references to the artistic as well as the technological context. Apes play a significant part in art history by representing art producers or critics. Art is the ape of nature. In times where art tends to degenerate into a mere business state, Monkey business raises the question of authenticity and individuality in a playful and ironic way. In the design of human-computer interaction, the user's wishes and needs are often strictly ignored. The user is the system's enemy. Being taught by a machine how to act naturally is part of our daily life. We get trained by technology like apes in a laboratory. But, well, do you really mind if the machine is a cuddly toy monkey? The setup consists of a camera for tracking the visitor's movement, a computer to analyse and process the tracking data, and ten motors attached to a metal skeleton 
inside the ape to control the limbs, head and body electronically. Monkey Business is an interactive installation built from cheap consumer hardware available in common electrical stores and developed with open source soft and hardware. And a monkey puppet captured for one euro on eBay.